21-year-old Georgia Parks had always been drawn to the ocean. From a young age, she found solace and excitement in the ebb and flow of the waves. Surfing became her passion, and she quickly became a local legend in the coastal town of East London, South Africa. Georgia was famous from a young age because of her natural talent for surfing. Everyone knew she was excellent. Proof of how good Georgia was at surfing was that she had won several local and international surfing competitions. The way she surfed left both her friends and rivals in awe. It was a lovely morning in the summer of 2000, and Georgia was out enjoying the ocean like she did every day. Their routine had been going on for years, but it was always as fresh and new as if she had just seen the ocean for the first time. Today wasn't different. The sun rose with a breathtaking display of colors over the horizon. Georgia knew she could spend days in the water, just marveling at the beauty of nature. The ocean glistened under the first rays of light, inviting Georgia for what promised to be a perfect day for surfing. She knew exactly where to get the strongest waves, where to stay off and where the waves were not strong. She knew everything about the water like the palm of her hands. Suddenly a thought popped into her mind. She'd been holding off on skinny dipping, but the timing seemed perfect today. She was early, so people were not much on the beach and the water was still warm and calm. Georgia felt the excitement she knew all too well rush through her as she tried something she'd never done before, breaking her ritual. She immediately dove into the ocean before she could change her mind and swam further from the shore. The further she moved, the stronger she felt a deep connection with the water and a profound appreciation for nature's beauty. Georgia swam to where he knew the waves would be perfect, dancing around her as if celebrating her presence. Georgia felt like she was one with the ocean, gliding through the water as though they were her dance partners. Little did she know that a rare and terrifying event would disrupt the ocean's harmony on this seemingly peaceful morning. Georgia was so mesmerized by her surrounding that it was unlike her not to notice that something was in the water. Not one but two 15-foot tiger sharks were gliding very close to her. Sharks are usually solitary hunters, and it's infrequent to find two huge predators in such proximity to each other. Georgia's instincts kicked in, and she sensed something was different in the waters. The sudden movement and splashing piqued the shark's curiosity as she tried to swim further away quickly. Like an unexpected encore, the massive predators started edging eerily close to Georgia. In such a situation, Georgia knew it was wise to stay calm, as being panicky could even tick the sharks off and bring about a deadly attack. The only thing she could do was keep her balance and hope the sharks would leave. But everything quickly turned for the worst when the first shark lunged towards Georgia, clamping its powerful jaws around her hand and dragging her beneath the surface. Panic surged as she fought to break free. She put every strength she could muster into fighting the shark while praying that the second one wouldn't come to join in the attack. The shark's grip was relentless. Georgia felt any hope she had drained from her when the second shark charged, aiming for her head. She felt a rush of fear and shock as she looked ahead and saw the frightening tiger shark charging towards her with eyes as sharp and cold as death. This close-up of the enormous predator and the sight of its powerful jaws scared her to the core. She knew she would die instantly if the shark got to her neck. Fueled by instinct and adrenaline, Georgia mustered all her strength. She didn't give up and fought back with all her might, repeatedly hitting the shark's snout, desperately trying to break free from its deadly hold. She knew that her life depended on escaping from the shark's grasp. The world seemed to slow down as Georgia's life flashed before her eyes. In that moment of desperation, she mustered every ounce of strength and kicked with all her might. Her nimble movements were proof of someone who had spent most of her time in the water, and her time in the water allowed her to narrowly glide and avoid the second shark's lethal bite by mere inches. Surprisingly, the first shark suddenly released its grip. It was as if the tiger sharks had just realized they were two of them in the water. Georgia wasn't the center of attraction anymore, and it was about to begin a fight for male domination. Perhaps the commotion differed from what the first shark had expected or it was satisfied with finding someone worth the challenge. Whatever the reason, the two sharks fought, slashing through the water and going further into the ocean depths, leaving Georgia bruised, shaken, and alone in the vast ocean. Suddenly, the ocean she had grown to love so much was the last place she wished to be. Her heart pounded in her chest, adrenaline coursing through her veins. As a gentle wave rose beneath her, 
Georgia knew she had to muster strength to ride the waves and reach the shores. She seized the opportunity, swimming with newfound determination. Georgia's mind raced with fear and gratitude as the wave carried her back to the shore. Her fingers were mangled, hanging onto her hand by a thread, but she knew she had to stay strong. Lifeguards rushed to her aid as he reached the safety of the beach, and she was immediately taken to the hospital. Her fingers had been torn from her hands from where the shark had gripped her. After three days, Georgia left the hospital with 15 stitches and seven fingers. The road to recovery was long and painful. The attack had left a permanent scar on Georgia's hands, and going through her daily chores was challenging. Sometimes she wondered if the incident had occurred because she changed her daily routine with the ocean. Despite how bad Georgia's injuries were, her love for the ocean never waned. Surrounded by friends, family, and fellow surfers, she found the courage to face her fear and return to the water. With each wave she conquered, she became more determined than ever to protect the fragile balance between humans and the ocean's inhabitants. David King and his friends traveled to Cancun to celebrate his 26th birthday bash. His friends were sometimes wild and he tried at times to fit into the lifestyle, but at times it wasn't easy to keep up. David couldn't help but marvel at the island's beauty where his parents hosted the bash for him. The sun was just beginning to rise and was casting a warm golden glow across the white sands of Cancun's beautiful beaches. The waves gently lapped at the shore, creating a soothing melody that echoed through the air. It was indeed a breathtaking tropical paradise. It seemed like the water stretched for miles. Cancun's beaches were nothing short of a dream. Despite how beautiful it was, David wasn't looking forward to going for a swim. He might have had too much to drink, and it was better to stay safe on the soft, fine, sandy shore. He could almost swear that the sand felt like velvet on his feet. His friends were still trying to convince him to get into the water with them, and David knew they wouldn't stop till he gave in, so he decided to just go for a little dip and come back to the shore when their minds were off him. David had to admit that the water was really soothing to him. David continued swimming and thought he felt something huge pass beneath him. David straightened up in the water to survey his surroundings. David quickly tried to swim back to the shore but was in for a nightmare when he realized a huge tiger shark was underneath him. Where did it come from, David thought as panic surged through him. Almost immediately, the powerful predator clamped its jaws around his left leg and arm, tearing into him like a vicious beast hungry for some late-night snack. David's initial shock turned into an instinctive fight for survival. He remembered watching videos of shark attack survivors and the warnings to stay calm and try to punch the shark's snout. He felt a sharp pain as the shark's teeth dug into his arms. The tiger shark's wild and forceful movements made the pain even worse for David. The shark's sharp teeth tore into his flesh with each aggressive motion, causing unbearable agony. Despite his desperate cries for help, David knew it to take a miracle for his friends to hear him from that distance, especially with the music they were blasting on the beach shores. His only hope was to try to release the shark's grip and hope that his friends had noticed he was missing and maybe come looking for him. David was determined not to give up, though. The adrenaline rush pushed him to fight back fiercely against the shark, using his fists, kicks, and nails, even though each move sent a shock pulse of pain. David mustered all his strength and courage, delivering a powerful punch to the shark's snout. He was surprised when he felt the huge predator swimming away from him. But despite having his life, David knew the damage had been done. He was bleeding profusely and couldn't feel his arms. His friends had heard his screams and were rushing toward him to bring him to safety. David's friends rushed him to a nearby hospital. The medical team worked tirelessly for eight grueling hours to stabilize his condition and save his life. The wounds were so severe that even the doctors were astonished by the extent of the damage. The bite marks were visible on his bones, showcasing the brutality of the attack. Remarkably, David's fighting spirit refused to yield. He endured numerous surgeries and though his arm couldn't be saved, the doctors managed to graft tissue from his right leg to aid healing. The road to recovery was long and painful, but David persevered. Two months after the incident, David was on his way home to begin his most important healing process, physical and emotional healing. As a nurse himself, he understood the importance of patience and perseverance. He refused to let the incident turn him into a victim. 
instead choosing to become an advocate for other shark attack survivors. Once he regained some strength, David set out to reclaim his life. He embraced his love for running, participating in intense races like the Warrior Dash, proving that he could conquer physical challenges despite the limitations caused by the attack. His courage and tenacity inspired many and became a beacon of hope for those facing adversity. While everyone might expect David's encounter with the tiger shark to shape how he sees the animal, David decided to work with organizations dedicated to preserving endangered sharks. Despite his traumatic experience, he understood sharks were not always violent creatures, and they were an essential part of the marine ecosystem. He aimed to spread awareness about the importance of conserving these magnificent creatures, all while helping other shark attack survivors cope with their ordeals. Over time, David's story resonated with people worldwide, demonstrating the power of the human spirit to triumph over tragedy. He traveled worldwide, sharing his journey of survival and resilience, offering hope to those facing their darkest moments. David King's experience taught him that life could be unpredictable and challenging. However, it also showed him the incredible strength within each person to overcome adversity. His harrowing tale inspired countless individuals to face their fears, appreciate life's precious moments, and never give up on hope. For David King, the scars on his body became symbols of courage and determination, proving that one can emerge from the depths of darkness and embrace the light of a new beginning. Amanda Spencer knew that her summer break would be nothing short of perfect. She was only a young girl, but already knew how to work with her parents to get what she wanted. Amanda had begged for weeks for a vacation in Florida after 11th grade. She loved the idea of spending the whole week of vacation swimming in the ocean. It would be a relief from the relentless bullying she faced at school. It was finally here, the summer of 2003. Amanda was all packed and ready to go. Amanda was excited because this was her first time traveling outside her hometown in San Francisco, California hometown. She just couldn't contain her excitement. She would spend days swimming in the water, building sandcastles, and not worrying about the bullies in the hallways. Amanda was planning to have the best time of her life. The mere thought of sandy beaches, warm sun, and the large ocean filled her with so much joy that she had barely slept the night before. Before the vacation, Amanda had spent days ogling the island resort where they'll be staying for the weeks. The rooms were so beautiful. Amanda couldn't believe it when her mother Cicely told her she would have a room that big to herself. Nothing prepared her for reality when they arrived at the island resort. The pictures online didn't justify how beautiful it was. It was just like they'd entered another world where everything was beautiful with shiny blue water. She was even more excited when she found out her parents had gotten the rooms with a breathtaking view of the bright blue water. While they were checking their rooms, the tour guide called and explained that there had been recent shark sightings in the area. While the sightings were far away, everyone was on high alert while swimming. Amanda's parents, though concerned, didn't want to put any dent in their daughter's summer vacation and plans. Hence, they explained that the beach they would visit had shallow waters, making it an unlikely place for sharks. Amanda assured her parents that she would play only in shallow water and be careful. The next day, Amanda was ready to explore the beach. She was a little surprised that her parents were also interested in coming. They all waded into the knee-deep waters with the sun sparkling on the surface. With the ocean breeze behind her, Amanda knew this was a summer she would not forget. Everything was set up just to be perfect. Then it wasn't. At first, she could swear something brushed through her leg, but she wasn't sure. It could be a little fish or something. Amanda knew something was wrong when she felt a sudden tug at her leg. She thought her dad was trying to scare her, but he was a few feet ahead of her. This was when she felt the sharp pain tear into her skin like something was trying to cut a chunk of flesh off. It all happened very fast, and in disbelief and terror, Amanda felt like she was being pulled underwater. Her parents saw her struggling with something underwater, but thought she was trying to be funny. When her parents saw the water around her turning bright red, they knew this was no joke. Panic swept through her parents, and without hesitation, they acted instinctually, rushing to rescue their daughter. With every ounce of strength, they managed to pull Amanda away from the shark and made a frantic dash to the shore. The injuries on Amanda's leg were severe, and her mother, both a firefighter and a paramedic, 
instantly knew it was a shark attack. They were scared and worried. They would have refused her to go to the beach after the tour guide warned them. Amanda received 12 stitches at the nearest medical facility to mend the deep wounds. Her stitches were a lasting reminder of the encounter. Back at school after her summer vacation, Amanda became the center of attention, not just because of her new scar, but also for her bravery. The stories of what happened in Florida had spread like wildfire, and everyone wanted to hear what it was like to be attacked by one of the kings of the sea. She told her story countless times to her classmates, the circle on her leg providing a glimpse of the shark's strong jaws. Despite the trauma Amanda had experienced, she wasn't phased. Everyone was in awe of her strength, wondering if they would ever dare to enter the water again after such a terrifying encounter. Amanda surprised everyone with her resilience. She decided not to let fear dictate her actions. Amanda wouldn't let one incident take her massive love for the ocean. She returned to the beach during the next vacation, determined to face her anxieties. With every step she took into the water, she silenced the haunting memories of that fateful day. As days turned into weeks, Amanda's fear gradually transformed into respect for the vastness and mysteries of the ocean. With her parents by her side, she navigated the waves, embracing the beauty of the sea while acknowledging its untamed nature. Amanda's story spread, and her strength and determination inspired others. Strangers and friends alike admired her bravery. Amanda's summer vacation had taught her a profound lesson, that life can be unpredictable and challenging. However, it is also filled with opportunities for growth and courage. And so, with her scars, Amanda stood tall, knowing she possessed an unyielding spirit that would guide her through any future storm. In the face of adversity, she had discovered the power within herself to emerge stronger than ever before.